80 million 360s, Black Friday and free games. This is Bago News. Yesterday, Microsoft revealed that they've shipped an impressive 80 million Xbox 360s worldwide. This figure comes just a few months before both Microsoft and Sony are due to release their next generation video game consoles, the Xbox One and the PS4, which are both due this holiday season and promise to transform the industry in ways that we have never experienced before. Just basically new graphics and stuff. Notably, there has been some issues with delays and some key titles that were due to launch with the next generation consoles like Watch Dogs and Drive Club, but let's hope that doesn't impact on the excitement. GameStop's Black Friday advert has been leaked and gamers can now see what deals are going to be available. According to the advertisement, which was found by gotadeal.com, Battlefield 4 will be available for $30 and not to any surprise, Call of Duty Ghosts will be $50. Other deals include a 250GB Xbox 360 Slim with Tomb Raider and Halo 4 for $200, a 250GB PlayStation 3 with Batman Arkham Origins and The Last of Us for $200, Assassin's Creed 3 for $15, Halo 4 Game of the Year Edition for $30, Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition for $15, Bioshock Infinite for $20, and Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds 3DS XL Bundle for $220. GameStop has yet to confirm that any of the deals are accurate. Microsoft have announced that the Xbox Live Games with Gold promotion has been extended. Microsoft debuted the Games with Gold program for Xbox Live Gold members during E3 earlier this year. Since its beginning, it has offered free games to paying Xbox Live members, like Assassin's Creed 2, Halo 3 and Crackdown. The service was only supposed to run until the end of the year, but Microsoft has now come out and announced that the program is being extended and will be an ongoing benefit for Xbox 360 users. People must really like Games with Gold because a massive 97% of people surveyed stated that they liked the program and want more free games. Well, duh. The free game aspect is why PlayStation Plus gets so much praise. However, we don't know if the Xbox One will continue the Games with Gold service, but it'd be in Microsoft's best interest to do so, especially if it's to complete directly with Sony's PlayStation Plus. I personally feel that they're not going to do this straight away since, you know, what will they start with, a launch title or something? You know, it's not really the best sort of thing to start with a console, but um, I feel that maybe a few months after the Xbox One has been released, then they should start the Games with Gold um, Xbox One program. That's today's news. What are your thoughts about today's stories? Leave your comments down below. I'll see you next time.